Okay guys, you already know how messy I am, so excuse it, and I want to move on and show you some plants, mainly tomatoes, that I started from seed all at the same time. This is an ebb and grow. And this ebb and grow system works great. And the plants look very good, actually. Nice blossoms, nice thick stalks. Okay, compare that with my fingers. And they're fairly, they're very healthy looking by themselves. These are grown in one of these net pots, net basket pots. It's a cocoa liner, and you can see the roots protruding out. I'm also using a clay aggregate. Now, granted, if I used larger pots and could run the water deep, deeper, the nutrient solution, I could probably have bigger plants. But these are these are plenty good really to transfer to a larger system. Now right next to them we have the same plant grown in organic soil. Now check this out. It's about probably about four inches taller than the one in Abbott Grow. And a little, little stouter, a little bushier. Same, uh, this one's already starting to get a tomato on it. Check that out there. So the potted soil plant is actually a couple inches taller than the ebb and, the ebb and flow. We have some plants, the same same type of plant, behind in smaller pots that are even smaller than the ebb and grow. So these plants are limited, basically, due to the size of the pot. Now, getting into the deep water culture segment, these uh, these plants are doing really well. This is a genera plant, which is one of my medicinal herbs, and a bit of basil. All these are, I'm using the uh, hydrogen as the uh, grow media. Now we come to the tomato plant. Now this tomato plant was started at the same time and is about five inches taller than the one in the Evan Grove. It's also, as you can see, much bushier. It is a bush tomato. It's a mountain pride. Look how bushy this baby is. It's got all kinds of segments coming out there. And what I'm going to do is show you how to control some of that and control the growth and the bushiness and basically the crop. I think it almost touches the ceiling and it is a bush variety. See if I can get a one-handed shot of the uh, roots here. Hang on. Oh yeah. Quite a root ball there. There's plenty of room for this thing to get roots, and that's why it's considerably bigger. Also, you're constantly pumping air into the system so that the roots get plenty of oxygen. And I think this is the main reason DWC seems to work better than any other hydroponic setup. Just started my little oxycone setup going again. Got a couple of genera in there. And I'm gonna I'm going to uh, put some tomato cuttings in there pretty soon. So like I say, we're gonna try to control the growth of this plant. And we're gonna start by trimming off some of these lower leaves, these huge leaves here. We don't need these things. That just takes too much energy off the plant. So we're going to prune a lot of those off. Look at this. Look at that huge thing. So we prune off a lot of the lower leaves and they have a lot more space in there. A lot more air can get in there too. 
and we still have plenty of leaves for photosynthesis. We got a pretty good pile of leaves here to toss. We can throw this in the compost bin. So to stop upward growth, we need to prune the tops, the very tops of the plant. And I usually do that just above the blossom set. Like so. So now we have this top, which would have gotten more blossoms, but now we control the amount of fruit and the size mainly of this plant. We'll, we'll prim the tops on each one of those and keep it this size. But we're going to get a lot more blossoms out of these other suckers. There's one down here that's going to come out. This one. They're all over the place, so there'll be plenty of new blossoms as we harvest some of the fruit. This is actually a pretty nice one right here coming out. I've separated some of the plants to give a better perspective of the difference in plant growth. This was done prior to any pruning. And as you can see, the DWC system is much more efficient than the other two methods. Anyhow, I just wanted to give you a quick update on how, how well these DWC buckets work compared to the other plants. Although the other ones, I mean, they're doing fine on their own. And if that's what you're used to, ain't no harm in that. <laughs>